Hello everyone, this is Chris Prince from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at Google Now for iOS. This is just released today. Uh, it was originally released a year ago, approximately a year ago, at Google I.O. for Android devices. What we're going to do here is take a look at a video here on the iPad, and we're going to look at it a little bit on the iPhone as well. What we do here is you tap this first, and Google will be showing you a fun little video it's just there for you. about right what it's all about. It. Introducing Google Now for iOS. The right information at just the right time. On your way to work each morning, Google Now shows you the fastest way to get there. When you're heading to the airport, get live updates about your flight. And as soon as you land, check out local phrases and rates. During the big game, get updates in real time. Or instantly learn about nearby attractions, movies, and restaurants. Google Now is easy to find. Open the Google search app, sign in, and swipe up. Google Now. The right information at just the right time. Now when you sign up on when you I mean when you open it up first on uh, iPad or iPhone you're going to be getting this the same screen. Now because we've used this uh separately on Android we'll have to do very little to get start getting cards and such. Now I'm going to take this off the screen for a second uh just to type in my password. Uh meanwhile I'll let you know that this is uh the same system you're using when you are using Android. So you'll get the same results you'll get there. It's all one system. So that when you log in for the first time, we're logging in here for the very first time, you'll see first a uh, card, you know, a little bit of information about what, in case you've never used it before, but then you get this information, which was logged in here based on Google result, uh, Google stuff we've been doing separately. Now, I've been searching for stuff for the twins as well as the wild, because those are two, two, uh, uh, sports teams that exist here in Minnesota. I'm interested in following them, so I get information about their games as they're going on or as they've just finished or as they're coming up. Here we have, uh, you know, in, uh, birthdays and such as they come up on Google+. Plus. Here we have information about weather, and then we have more cards down here. I have some information about how long it would take me to get to the place where uh, I would go to work. That's a different place because uh, I work from home most of the time. Uh, we got here. You have information about the Twins and the Tigers and the Blackhawks in the Wild, and they're coming up soon. Now, this is just the beginning. Uh, this is just a, a small example of what you got going here. By the way, this is a mushy cover pad. You can check that out separately as well. Uh, here we have, well, this is an iPhone, by the way. It's the iPhone 5. Just got a massive Pelican case on it. You can take a look at that separately. Um, this is how it'll show up on your iPhone. You go down, you'll see basically the same information. You'll see the same things we just saw on iPad. With iPad, there's a larger screen, so you have two squares rather than one, and you can go through it like this. Now, if you have a hacked, uh, or a jailbroken rather, uh, iPhone, you might be able to set this up, or we've seen it set up already, with a home screen, or with a home button press. Now, some people have set this so that if, instead of pressing it down, you see Siri, uh, you'd be able to press it down and hold it down to get to the screen right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, check it out. Let us know if you enjoy this setup in Google Search. Just update your Google Search app to make this happen, and see you later.